why race tires don't last long. Racing tires wear out faster than you think, sometimes in minutes. Their compound is extremely soft, designed to heat up fast and bite into the asphalt. At around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, they reach peak grip by literally melting into the track. But when they're hot enough to stick, they're also hot enough to disintegrate. You can almost watch the rubber shred lap after lap. In Formula One, tires start losing performance after just a dozen laps, even on perfect surfaces. In drifting, they often go from new to bald in under 60 seconds. They're built with zero tread, so even light moisture turns them into ice. Air pressure is critical, typically set between 13 and 17 psi to maximize the contact patch. This increases grip but also puts more stress on the sidewalls. Most racing tires operate within a tight temperature window, drop below or go above, and grip falls off instantly. To prevent cold starts, teams use tire warmers that maintain heat while the car sits in the garage. Drivers constantly monitor surface and core temps using telemetry to keep the rubber in its sweet spot. Even a few degrees out of range can cause the compound to blister, grain, or go off completely. It's a fragile balance. Power, pressure, heat, and grip all fighting each other at 200 miles per hour. Now you understand